Almost blue, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Bubbles cool. Hey guys, I'm Krillian. I'm Owen. I'm Ollie. And this is Simple Home Science. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Simple Home Science. In this video, Chris, Owen and Ollie will be exploring what happens when you try and mix water with baby oil. This will create the illusion of an underwater ocean in the bottle. So for this experiment, we're going to need the following materials. You need a bottle, you can choose any type, but we have chosen a vinegar bottle. Baby oil! Food colouring. You, you can choose any colour, but we have chosen blue. Drop and funnel! So why does water not mix with oil? This is for two reasons. The first reason is down to the chemistry of the individual water and oil molecules. The second reason is because oil has a lower density than water and will always float to the top. To explain this in more detail we have to explore water on a more molecular level. In one glass of water there are more water molecules than there are known stars in the universe. Water, H2O, consists of two hydrogen atoms bonded with one oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms have a slightly positive charge, and the single oxygen atom has a slightly negative charge. The oxygen atom steals electrons from the two hydrogen atoms and this is what gives the molecule its electrical charge. So water is known as a polar molecule. The positively charged hydrogen atoms are attracted to the negatively charged oxygen atoms of other water molecules forming hydrogen bonds. This is what keeps the individual water molecules together and stops them from flying out of the bottle. Oil on the other hand is not a polar molecule, oil is a non-polar molecule. This means that the individual atoms in the oil molecule share the electrons with each other instead of stealing them like they do with water. As the oil molecules share their electrons instead of stealing them the oil molecule doesn't have an electrical charge. Polar and non-polar molecules are not attracted to each other and so the molecules will not bond together but work in the exact opposite. Oil being non-polar will repel the water molecules, oil is therefore known as hydrophobic, or water-fearing, as opposed to being hydrophilic, or water-loving. So the water and oil repel each other and this is why they do not mix together in the bottle. Right, so to do this, we'll need to half fill this bottle with water. But first we need to make the water blue. So to do that, we need to put some food colouring into the water. Nice. Put that in. Obviously the more food colouring we put in, the darker the blue will be. We need to give it a good stir. Nice blue, isn't it? Yeah. Right, now we need to pour this. Fill up the bottle by halfway. Are you going to do that, Ollie? Yeah. Fill it up for me? Yeah. Alright, so we'll use the funnel to avoid making a mess. Alright. So, if I pass you the water, two hands please, and pour it in slowly. Okay? That's it, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. There we go. Wow. That's good, isn't it? So there's our water. Now we need to top up the rest of the bottle and make sure there's no air with baby oil. Can you use the funnel as well? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay, so you fill it up now with baby oil. Come on, give it a good pour. It needs to go all the way up to the top. Oh, bubble is cool. Keep going. Oh, it looks awesome. You think, Dad? Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Right, all the way top. Right, careful, careful. Stop. Whoa! Yeah, no, you oh, do you know that looks cool, though? Pour on the top just to make sure all the air is gone because you don't want air bubbles to get in there. 
Right, now you will get some bubbles in the bottle when you first do it. All you need to do is leave it to settle for about five or ten minutes and the bottle, the bubbles will, will disappear. So, we'll see you in about ten minutes time. Right, so we've left it go for about ten minutes and majority of the bubbles have gone. So now you get a better effect now when you ro ro move it side to side. It actually looks like an underwater ocean. It looks like the waves. Yeah, the waves, yeah. And as you can see now, look how the, the, the two liquids don't mix. The oil will always stay separate from the, from the water. So whichever way you move it, so if you turn it upside down, it will eventually settle. And the water goes to the bottom and the oil goes to the top. Can I have a look, Ollie? Shake it. <laughs> yeah, it's over there. It might be a snow globe. Well, it's the same sort of principle. They so there you have it. Them. That's our underwater ocean. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and well, hopefully, we'll three of us will see you next time.